Hello, everybody. Happiest of Mondays. So glad you're here with me. I can't wait to show you all of the things I'm about to show you. I hope each of you had a fantastic weekend. Um, if you live in Utah, were there any local parades or were there any local activities? Last This past weekend, we went to Syracuse Days. That's in Utah. And next weekend, we go to West Point Days, which is where I'm from. So anyway, hi, everybody. Hello, hello. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. Thank you for joining me. My name is Sarah from Polished Pinkies, and I'm by myself today because Rachel is not feeling well, so she is not with us. But I am going to be showing you some favorites, but today is not going to be my favorites. Instead, it's going to be current customer favorites. These are the popular items that have really been moving. These are fantastic products. And actually, the ones that I chose today that I could remember is mostly all base products. So I think that's fantastic. I didn't pull any colors because colors I always talk about my favorite colors. So I figured today I would just share the customer favorites that I could remember from pulling orders and hopefully that that would be helpful to you. So I am going to get started first off with Luminary. Of course, Clarity, always popular. Clarity is the clear. And the Commit Primer, always popular. We struggle to keep these in stock, but we did get them back in stock. So if you are running low on your Clarity, then you can stock up at polishedpinkiespro.com or on the Polished Pinkies Pro app. But these are fantastic products and definitely ones that you wanna have enough of. So Clarity, again, is the clear. If you were looking for a colored luminary product, the most popular colors in order of popularity would be Balance, Growth, and Drive. Those are the very most popular colors. The other ones are popular, but as far as I'm not gonna go through them all in a line, you know. So anyway, starts with clarity, then it goes to balance, then growth, then drive. So anyway, you can check those out. And if you have not had a chance to use Luminary or you have questions about them, we do have an educator. You can find Nail Art by Crystal here on Instagram, and she is our local educator. She has small classes that she's currently offering. She will be offering larger classes as the year goes on. And she, of course, offers one-on-ones. So you can contact her. Again, that's Nail Art by Crystal. And uh, she will be happy to answer all of your questions in regards to Luminary. We are happy to answer your questions as well, but she is our educator. Next up, let's move to Ugly Duckling. The Builder Base has been wildly popular, but I also should have grabbed the Natural Base so that I could tell you the difference between the two. So without having to go grab it. So natural base is a traditional gel polish manicure base. That would be your traditional soak off. You can create an apex with it. Uh, it doesn't have to be paper thin or anything like that. Like the most traditional gel polish manicure, more of modern uh, gel polish manicure, which would be like a juicy layer of base. That's your natural base. It is, it has great adhesion. It's a great product. Then if you were to go to builder base, this would be that hard gel hard gel. It is a soak off product, so it's not technically a hard gel, but this would be more like that hard gel structured manicure product. Builder Base is an awesome product. Uh, self levels beautifully. Fantastic to work with. Been very popular lately. Um, next up, this is no surprise to me. Matte Top Coat from Ugly Duckling. It's popular all year round. It's such a great product. It is a 60 second cure. You do have to wipe off the tacky layer, but this is a beautiful, beautiful matte top coat. Next up, let's go to implements. Lately, the spatula has been so popular. And just before I went live, when I opened up Instagram, a video using the spatula came up and I'm like, ah, see people are starting to really understand uh, what the spatula is for. So it's great for mixing, say, and for instance, like a glitter behind me with a clear gel, of course, mixing like that. But it's also great for mixing those gel polishes that have sat on your shelves for a season or two seasons without being used. And then you go to use them and the colors have separated and the pigment is at the bottom. That's where you would get a metal spatula like this. And you would stick that in there and really just work the pigment back through the gel. And um, it's always good to have. 
Rachel uses a spatula for everything, actually. So spatula, very popular. Then we have one of my very most favorite things is the Accents Pusher. This has been my top favorite forever. It's still a top favorite. I love the Accents Pusher. It is sharpened on both ends. And I only tell you that so that you'll be aware so that when you get a new pusher, just take your time. It's very sharp. And so you kind of have to dull it down just a little bit. So soon you'll be able to like speed through, but in the beginning, just take your time and really just push those cute cuticles back, um, lifting them and whatnot, because the sharp, this end is sharp and this end is sharp, but it is such a great pusher. This is a right-handed pusher. Unfortunately, Accents does not make a left-handed pusher, which is a bummer. Next up is the Polished Pinkies Petty Bit. I actually gave myself a quick pedicure this morning. Not a very thorough pedicure, just a quick one, you know, get the little grimies off. And I remembered how much I love this bit. And the reason why I love this bit is because at the end, I was able to tap out all of the dirt and debris and the gunk that lives inside of here. So a pedicure bit has holes and those holes are to release heat as you are working on the skin, but all of the dead tissue gets inside of those holes, which means that it's filled with gunk inside. And ours is open on the bottom, which means that you can get it all out. Then I took an orange wood stick and I scraped out all the rest, got that all out. Then I gave it a really thorough wash and then I put it in my barber side so that it'll be nice and clean for the next client. So I really, really do love the pedicure bit. We have a coarse, which is the recommended bit. And then we have a super coarse. The super coarse is only meant for those feet that are severe callus, severe. So if you have just a traditional dry, maybe a little crusty, you know, situation, maybe a little crusty calluses on your toes or on your heels, things like that, I would suggest using the coarse and not the super coarse because the super coarse can cause more heat if they're, if you already dig down to fresh tissue. So it's only meant for those severe cases. So that's just a heads up. Okay, I'm missing what people are saying. It's the best matte top coat ever. I'm so glad that you agree. Ugly Duckling makes a great product. Um, now you mentioned magpie glitter and pigments, but I wasn't able to find that on the app. Now that you mentioned. Okay, so Adalia, Magpie is sold over on the Magpie Beauty USA app. You can download that from your app store as well, but Magpie and Polish Pinkies are two separate things, even though we sell them together, if that makes sense. We represent both, um, but we do we are required to keep Magpie separate from Polish Pinkies. So you would have to download the Magpie Beauty USA app, and then you would be able to find all of their products uh, over on that website or within that app. So I hope that's helpful. Okay, moving on. Give me one moment. My nose is a little trippy today. Springtime allergies. Unfortunately though, for me, uh, if you're new around here, my name is Sarah from Polish Pinkies and I have contact dermatitis and one of the pitfalls of having contact dermatitis, at least for me, is having a drippy nose. No matter where I am, it's terrible. I hate it, but it is what it is. So moving on to the colored bases from Luxio. Currently, the most popular is Stark, and that is the white. And I think the reason is because if you use a white base, then all of your neons are incredibly neon. So by having Luxio base in white, then you are able to float this on a little bit, make it a really nice juicy layer, have that really nice white pigment behind it, and then go in with a color like Scoundrel or Sunburst, you're gonna need some sunglasses just to finish painting it because it's amazing. Next up, the next two popular ones are Naked. I actually really love Naked. This one is a slightly pinker tone. This is more like, if you know the Luxio colors, this is more like the color Luxio Delicate. It has that pretty pink hue. And my most favorite, which is the most popular one, is Base Nudist. And this is like the color Luxio Blush, which, Luxio blush is like underwear for your nails and it is a must have in everybody's collection. I cannot recommend Luxio blush enough. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, moving on to gel plays. A couple of these surprised me actually. 
but let's pull out the common ones. So common ones would be line it white and line it black. These ones are popular, but for very, very good reason. These are incredibly pigmented. You can paint very thin lines. You can paint all of your nail art very thin, meaning you don't have to use a lot of the gel art, uh, the gel paint to create like a pigmented design. So gel play line it have to be used very, very thin so that they get a full cure. These are always popular, always a must have, love those. Next up is Scarlet Fantasy. And I think this one has been popular because it's summertime. We have all of those patriotic holidays. It's a beautiful, beautiful red glitter. So that one makes sense to me. There's only two in here that don't make sense. Well, not that they don't make sense, but when I get to them, I'll tell you why. Okay, Raspberry Dazzle. Such a cute color. So popular. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I am choking today. <coughs> Excuse me. So very, very popular. So very, very pretty. Excellent as a full nail, full nail, or for instance, on toes. Think about how glitzy that would be on toes. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna take a drink so I stop choking. <coughs> Next is Sapphire Dazzle. I think this one is very popular during the summertime. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous shade of blue. Now the next two, these ones are the ones that I'm like, wow, people have finally realized how great these are. So you know my love of gel play runs deep. I love gel play for so many reasons. I love it because it stays, my biggest reason that I love it is because it stays where you put it. So you can do the first nail of nail art, work through all 10, and that first nail will not have moved. The gel play will not have moved. So even if you leave behind the inhibition layer and you put this on top of the inhibition layer, it doesn't move, which is what I love because I am not a natural born artist. So if I put something on a nail exactly where it should go, I need it to stay there because I can't, I don't fix it very well or uh, you know, I, I can't really learn to see it differently. So anyway, I like gel play because it stays where I put it. Hot pink. I love hot pink. It's just not one of the most popular, but lately people have been loving the hot pink gel play, which is fantastic. And then this one, it's called flame red, but it is a hot orange. Can you see that? I hope it's coming through the way I see it. It is a neon orange. It is incredibly vibrant, incredibly pigmented, so much fun. And I hope that everybody who is buying these is having a great time creating some summertime nail art because these are so good. All right, now we move into the basics of Luxio. Uh, a fix it, I almost said X-Bon, but that is the base I'm about to talk about. A fix it has been very popular. It is just a traditional sticky primer. This is the accents version of a sticky primer and it is an, a great primer. Uh, so you're going to go through, prep the nail, cleanse the nail really well with acetone. And then you would go through and put on the a fix it, let it dry for 60 seconds. It will become tacky. And then you can go in with your base product. So a fix it is a great primer. Next up, I'm so happy that this has been a popular um, combination, but it is X-Bond and Luxio Build. Magic, magic, this is magic. So X-Bond is a universal base coat. It is a very thin, watery base coat. You do not want to try and float this. It is not meant for fixing a shape on a nail. It is not for, meant for being juicy or anything like that. It is very thin and you just scrub this onto the nail plate really, really fast. Fast meaning like you don't have to take your time just because you're not floating anything. So scrub that into the nail, scrub, 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 and then cure it for 30 seconds. Then you go in with Luxio Build. Luxio Build is a beautiful builder in a bottle. As you can see, it's a very thick consistency. It heals itself very quickly but it's not runny as long as you don't overwork it. If you overwork the gel, 
then it tends to get a little thinner and then it kind of wants to move a little more loosey-goosey. So here are my top tips for Luxio Build. Luxio Build is a flexible gel, even when cured. So when this first came out, I sculpted out a sport short extension and I could literally, after it was cured, you could just do this. Now I wore it for a full three weeks. It didn't ever break or anything like that, but it is very flexible. It is not a hard gel. It does not cure like a hard gel. So this is great for people who have healthy, flexible nails. If a person's nails already have a flex to them, this is gonna be a better product for them than this. This is gonna be for your general, more rigid type nails where they can handle a rigid product. So this is for flex people who need a little more flexible um, product on their nails. So you're going to apply a beautiful layer. You're gonna make it wet and then you're gonna go in and apply just a little bit more and then you're going to leave it alone. If I was showing this on a demo, what I would do is do the first nail and I would kind of encourage where it should go, then go to the next one, the next one, the next one. And I would only do these four, right? These four. And then I would go back and check this one. And the joy of Luxio Build is it heals itself. So by the time you have finished this finger, this finger looks perfect. You might have to barely touch that one. This one, because it's been less time, right? This one, you might need a little fixing, a little fixing. You could even flip them upside down. They're gonna heal themselves, create a beautiful apex. I just can't say enough good about Luxio Build. I love it. Love, love, love. So anyway, this has been popular for a very good reason. Next up, always popular, never surprises me, is Luxio Base. What a beautiful, juicy base coat. Luxio Base is a delightful base coat to use. You can scrub it into the nail. You can use this as your traditional base coat, uh, traditional gel polish manicure base coat, which means it can be very thin. You can soak it off. Uh, you can do just like a shellac manicure style gel manicure, or you can create a small apex. You can correct shape on the nail with this. It can be a juicy base coat. Uh, it can be left behind because it's 100% gel. So when you when your client comes back, if you have created a really nice juicy base, then you can just e-file off the top, the color, and thin down the Luxio base, but leave behind the rest, prep that new growth, start again, treat it like a fill. This is a wonderful base coat. Last up, we have three products. Silver Effects Top Glass. We talked about this last week, and of course, I didn't realize that we only had a couple in stock. So we did order more, more on the way, but it has been one of those products that is a hidden gem. Love, love, love silver, silver effects, but I also love gold effects. This does come in six colors and on the wand, it's gonna feel very intense. But when you put this onto the nail, it kind of just disperses over the nail and it doesn't, it's not like that. So don't judge the uh, wand on that side or that side. Don't judge the wand as what it will look like on the nail plate. So the effects top glasses, very popular, very fun to use. And last but not least, and certainly not surprising, shine on. The ultimate, the one, the only, the award-winning, the always incredible. It has UV inhibitor inhibitors, which means that your whites will stay white, your pastels will stay pastel, your brights will stay bright, everything like that. It is super shiny, 30 seconds, no wipe, fantastic. It is stain resistant, not stain proof, but it does resist stains and it is awesome. I also love Shine On because it self levels, which is so nice because if you have nail art that is slightly bumpy and you don't want your client to be able to feel that or pick at it, then you just apply a little bit extra Shine On, maybe flip that hand upside down so that it can self level over that nail art make sure that your line of light is good and then put them in the lamp. So shine on, ultimate fave for so many reasons. All right, I think that is everything. That's everything that I have at least. Uh, we always want to help in any way we can. So if you ever have any questions about Ugly Duckling, Luminary, Polish Pinkies Pro Tools or Accents products, we are here to help in any way. Uh, you can get all of these products at Mac at polishpinkiespro.com or on the Polish Pinkies Pro app. 
And we will not be here next week because it is 4th of July. So we wish you all a happy holiday. And the week after that, we will be in Tennessee. So if you are going to the Tennessee Expo, we can't wait to meet you. We will have Luminary, Ugly Duckling, and Polished Pinkies Pro Tools there. So please be sure to stop and say hello. And then we will be back the week after that here on Instagram. So we will see you in just a couple weeks. We hope you have a great July. Bye.